But a big difference under the 2014 directive is that you can only ask for that evidence of references, um, you can only ask for that actual evidence um, and certification that they've done the work once they've been awarded the contract as a general rule. Yeah, because you're all aware that during the procedure, as a general rule, you have to let a supplier rely on a self-declaration in the form of the European Single Procurement Document. Is everybody familiar with that? Yeah. So that's changed in a sense that you can't insist on those certified re references when they apply to tender. Yeah. It's only it's a general rule when they've been awarded, chosen as the winner of the contract, then you can say, right now, I want you to produce those references to back up your statement that you've done that work in the past. All right? So it's different in terms of you can only ask at the end of the procedure. However, there's an important exception to that, um, which is that you can ask for those references where it's necessary for the proper conduct of the procedure. You can ask for it earlier on, before you actually award the contract. Um, does everybody understand what that means? <laughs> um, I didn't understand what it meant when I read the directive, but if you read the recitals, it explains in the recitals what it means. What it's essentially saying is if you have a procedure, um, a restrictive procedure, a competitive procedure with negotiation or competitive dialogue, where you don't invite everybody to tender, okay, where you, you ask who's interested to tender, and then you form those, and then you see who meets your minimum requirements, and then if it's too many, you select a limited number of people to tender, right? So say you get 20 people saying, I want to participate in this competitive procedure with negotiation, but you only want five people to tender, right? So you want to, and you find that of those 20, 15 meet your minimum requirements, and you're only going to choose the five with the most relevant experience, yeah? That kind of situation? Are you allowed to do that under Romanian law, are you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's that kind of situation. There's actually an exception to the rule on self-declarations. You are actually allowed to ask people for the evidence, the certification, when you choose the five to take forward. Uh, because the idea is, if you chose the five without asking for the references, you might end up choosing five who actually can't produce the evidence. And then that would be a problem for you when you get to the end of the procedure because you might find that all your tenderers don't have the evidence to back up um, and none of them can be given the contract. And it's also unfair because you might be choosing five people who, who can't produce the certification, but what about the other 10 who could produce it? You haven't invited them, yeah? And it's not fair 